you've been seeing this one or going around on YouTube a lot lately. And it's the hype for this summer. You gotta have your pork belly burn dance. Well, there we go. So we're going to make pork belly burn dance. And the great thing is that these days you can get a good barbecue sauce and a good barbecue rub just in your supermarket. So I have here the Santa Maria All Purpose Classic Barbecue Rub and the Whiskey Kentucky Barbecue Sauce. And the first thing we start doing is get our pork belly out, cube it up and start seasoning it. Well, we have here 800 grams of pork belly. Looks gorgeous. It has a lot of meat on it. That's the way I like it. A lot of fat as well because we need it for the burned ends of course. So what we're looking for is cubes that are the size of about two fingers thick. Now that we have these great looking pork belly cubes, we'll start seasoning this with our classic American Santa Maria barbecue rub. And this rub has some great color on it. That will be perfect for our burned ends. Make sure you get the rub all over. And for this amount of pork belly, you can reuse all of the rub. So make sure we get everything in there. So here's a nice trick for you. Get your pork boiler burned ends and put them on a cooling rack that's perfect for smoking. Of course you have to get one of these non-stick ones. Put your cubes on there. And this will allow you to get smoke on every part of the burned end. You can completely separate them, no grill marks or almost no grill marks because normally the grill grates are just a little bit too thick. Well, these are ready to be smoked. We'll put them on the barbecue and smoke them over indirect heat. Smoking on a barbecue like this is just that easy. Get a nice big chunk of hickory. This chunk will start smoking soon enough. We'll close the lid and make sure that we keep the temperature at 125 degrees Celsius, which is around 225. Well, our pork belly burned ends have been smoking for a while now and they're starting to look good. They get a nice bit of color. It's time to take them off the grill put them in our barbecue sauce. And shamefully, this little bit of pork just fell off it. I gotta eat it. Mm. Wow. Mm. That Santa Maria barbecue rub already did a great job. It has some nice flavor going on there. A bit of pepper, a bit of paprika, garlic. But let's not get carried away. Time for us to get our pork belly burn dance ready for the next stage. So first thing I wanna do is take our Kentucky whiskey sauce. And then, to sweeten things up even more, we'll do a nice big tablespoonful of brown sugar, maybe two. A half a cup of honey. We definitely need that sweetness for the burned ends to become burned ends. It's like turning pork belly into candy. Let's stir that up. Get everything mixed together properly. Ah, definitely super delicious already. Mm. Wow. We'll drop this in a big oven tray. We wrapped it in tin foil. We're putting it back on a barbecue. Well, look at these burned ends. They've been on, on for about one and a half hours at 150 degrees Celsius, which is 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The internal temperature is 96 degrees Celsius, which is around 205 degrees Fahrenheit. And look at that. They're just fantastic. So we'll just give them a quick brush just to get the barbecue sauce everywhere. Look at how gorgeous they look now. <laughs> so they go back five to ten minutes as I said. There you go. See them in a bit. Mm. Look at the caramelization. Nice and bubbly. Almost getting black on the outside but that's the edge of caramelization. And it's doing so well. It's time to plate these up and just start digging in because they look insane. These pork belly burned ends are so much fun to make. And now the moment that I've been waiting for has come. It's time to dig in. And the first one you pick is always magical because you just want to get the right one. The right one that has everything. It's still freaking hot. Mm. It's 
stop, stop. This should be illegal, we can't air this. This, it, this, this is too good. You know, I like to use the word superlicious a lot and it means that it's really good. This is better than superlicious. I need to come up with a new word for this one. All aboard!